In this video, you will learn how to use GeoGebra to bisect a given angle. On the drawing pad is angle B, the angle we will be bisecting. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool from the Circle toolbar. Click on point B to place the center of the circle at point B, and click anywhere on line segment AB to place the circle. This creates circle C and point D. Select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar and click on the intersection of Circle C and Line Segment BC. This creates Point E. Select the Circle with Center Through Point tool again and click on Point D to place the center of the circle and click on the circumference of Circle C between points D and E at least half the distance to Point E from Point D. This creates Circle D. Select the Compass tool from the Circle toolbar. Click on point D and then point F. This attaches a circle to the cursor with the same radius as Circle D. Move the cursor to point E and click the mouse. This creates Circle E with its center at point E. Select the New Point tool from the Point toolbar. Click on either intersection of the circles D and E and point G is created. Finally, select the Ray Through Two Points tool from the Line toolbar. Click first on point B, and then on point G. This creates Half Line BG. Half Line BG bisects angle B. To understand why this is true, use the Segment Between Two Points tool from the Line toolbar to create line segments EG and DG. BE and BD are congruent because they are radii of the same circle. EG and DG are congruent because they are radii of congruent circles. BG is a common side between triangles BEG and BDG. Therefore, triangles BEG and BDG are congruent by the side-side-side congruence postulate. Angles EBG and DBG are corresponding parts of congruent triangles and are therefore congruent. So, half line BG bisects angle B. Because GeoGebra is dynamic, we can see what happens when we adjust various elements of the construction using the Move tool. Moving point A horizontally changes the radius of circle C. Moving point A vertically can also change the radius of circle C, but also changes the radius of circle D and therefore circle E. Moving points B and D changes the radii of all three circles. Depending on how point B is moved, its movement can cause the radius of circles D and E to become so small that they no longer intersect. Observe the drawing pad as point F moves closer to point D. If point F moves to less than half the distance between points D and E, circles D and E will no longer intersect. This is why it is important that we place point F in its initial position.